Welcome, folks. This is the Secrets of the Hells Angels. Just this past Sunday, July 10th, 2022, the former leader of the Hells Angels in Montreal, uh, Maurice Boucher, better known as Mum Boucher, he, he died. He was 69 years old. He was the leader of the Hells Angels during the Biker Wars in Quebec. The Quebec Biker War went on for eight years and more than 160 people were killed. Uh, Maurice Boucher, better known as Mum Boucher, he was tortured by the Canadian government while in prison with microwaves and V2K voice to skull. Their intention was to drive him crazy. Now, regardless of what Mum Boucher ever did in his life, should we be allowing the Canadian government to torture prisoners with microwave weapons? Prison itself is punishment enough. Here's a famous picture of Mum Boucher the former leader of the Hells Angels in Quebec. He died uh, just last Sunday, apparently of uh, cancer while in prison. Now, he, he led the Hells Angels in Quebec when there were the biker wars, and they were all shooting each other and blowing each other up, and over 160 people died. One thing that people don't know about the Hells Angels is that the Freemasons tell them what to do. Okay? The, the Hells Angels, everybody thinks they're like... Uh, they're just a straight-up outlaw biker criminal organization, right? But uh, they're controlled by the state. The Freemasons tell the angels what to do. And all the cops are Freemasons. So any of you guys who want to join the Hells Angels, the cops are going to know everything you're doing. Now, another weird thing about the uh, Hells Angels, there was this guy in British Columbia, his name was Robert Picton. He was uh, known as the worst serial killer in history, where he killed a bunch of prostitutes. Now, Robert Picton said he never did it. And he wrote a book called Picton in his own words. And he called himself the Fall Guy. Now, here's the book that was written by Robert Picton in his own words. Now, Robert Picton claimed that the Hells Angels murdered all these prostitutes, not him, and that he was just set up. Because he had a pig farm, and in, according to him, these, uh, these Hells Angels would kill these prostitutes and put them in a wood chipper and feed them to the pigs. And uh, so all these hookers, or prostitutes, whatever you want to call them, the names, I mean, they, people's names are constantly changing. I can't keep up with it. So all these hookers, prostitutes, whatever, they got murdered in the downtown east side in Vancouver. And, they, and they, it all got blamed on Robert Picton. But what people don't talk about is a lot of women went missing in Edmonton, Canada, Al Edmonton, Alberta. And uh, Robert Picton didn't murder those women, and it's the same M.O., and basically, people are saying, Robert Picker's saying, that the Hells Angels murdered these women in Edmonton and in Vancouver, and they put them through wood chippers and fed them to the pigs. Now, he says the Hells Angels used to party at his farm, his pig farm, and that there were politicians there who were Freemasons, and his brother's a Freemason, possibly. And uh, I've even heard people say, oh, the Hells Angels in Australia murder people the same way. They put them through wood chippers. Now, do I know if that's true? I don't know. It's just a rumor. So here are, uh, here are a lot of the women that went missing in the downtown east side, and it was blamed on Robert Picton. Now, Robert Picton is pointing the fingers at the Hells Angels, and a bunch of women also went missing in Edmonton, and Robert Picton was never in Edmonton. Now, here's Robert Picton. He was a pig farmer. He worked on a farm. Now, it was said that he was a little bit mentally slow, and, uh, you know, how's he going to kill all these prostitutes if he's mentally slow and get away with it? And uh, and then he has all these Hells Angels partying at his farm and all these politicians that are Freemasons. And uh, maybe one of his relatives was a Freemason? I don't know. That's what I read. So back to Mom Boucher. Mom Boucher was a Canadian murderer, reputed drug trafficker, and outlaw biker. Once president of the Hells Angels Montreal chapter... Boucher led Montreal's Hells Angels against the rival Rock Machine biker gang during the Quebec Biker War of 1994 through 2002 in Quebec, Canada. In 2002, Boucher was convicted of ordering the murders of two Quebec prison officers in an effort to destabilize the Quebec justice system. He was sent to serve three life sentences at Canada's only supermax prison in St. Anne de Plaine. While in prison there, Boucher survived several assassination attempts motivated by his infamy and was placed in a special unit of the prison to isolate him. 
Authorities transferred him in June 2022 to the nearby Archambault Institution under conditions of secrecy so he could receive palliative care following the metastasis of his throat cancer. He died July 10th, 2022. Boucher is survived by two children, I'm not going to leave their names, who have also been involved in organized crime. So the Quebec Biker War, in 1994, following the arrest of Salvatore Cazetta on charges of conspiring to import 200 kilos of cocaine, the rock machine was rendered temporarily leaderless. Boucher, by now president of the Montreal chapter of the Hells Angels, decided to make his move against the rock machine and other independent dealers. His ultimate aim was to establish a Hells Angels monopoly over street-level biker gang drug dealing in the Montreal area and eventually all over Quebec. Boucher persuaded rock machine-controlled bars and their resident drug dealers to surrender their illegal drug business or their resistance would lead to bloodshed. On July 14, 1994, Two members of the Hells Angels top puppet club, the Rockers, entered a downtown motorcycle shop and shot down a Rock Messina associate. This would be the spark that would set off the Quebec Biker War. During the Quebec Biker War, the Angels national president, Walter the Nurgent uh, Stadnik, remained in the background while Boucher became the public face of the Angels, to the extent that Stadnik's name was almost never mentioned in the media. In 1984, Stadnick was involved in an incident when he drove his Harley Davidson motorcycle into a car driven by a Catholic priest, causing a fire that left him with severe burns and a hideously deformed face. Given that Stadnick did not speak French and his grotesquely deformed face was as far from being telegenic as possible, the Quebec media preferred to focus on the charismatic French-Canadian Boucher in what appeared to be a division of labor. Stadnick was in charge of expanding the Angels in Ontario and the Prairies while bringing the Angel chapters in British Columbia, which answered to the Hells Angels chapter in Seattle, under control of the Montreal chapter, while Boucher had the task of fighting the Quebec Biker War. As Stadnick spoke no French and Boucher no English, police wiretaps showed that the two men needed interpreters to communicate. On 17th of October 1994, Danny Kane, a rocker and a protege of Boucher's Lieutenant David Wolf Carroll contacted the Interpol's office in Ottawa saying he knew too much about the Angels and wanted to sell information. The Interpol office had Kane meet Staff Sergeant Jean-Pierre Levesque of the Royal Canadian Mounted Police who was appointed Corporal Pierre Verdon and Sergeant Gatine Saint-Ange to be his handlers. Now the thing is... All the RCMP are Freemasons, and the Freemasons tell the angels what to do. So no matter what this guy is going to say to the cops, the cops are going to go back and tell it right to the Freemasons and the Hells Angels. So uh, let me tell you something. If, you, if you're some young person out there and you're thinking of getting involved in crime and you want to be a biker and a Hells Angel, don't do it because the cops are going to know every single thing you do. And let me tell you something. All you bikers out there, all you Hells Angels, the government is using microwaves to spy on your asses, okay? So... You know, yeah, there's no secrets in the Hells Angels. If you bikers have never heard of remote neural monitoring, they can read your mind with microwaves. Canadian Forces Station Leitrim reads people's minds with microwaves, okay? They put nano in all of your bodies. There's no secrets no more, guys, period. No matter what the hell you're doing, the government knows, 100%. And you know what? It's better that you guys know anyway. So you can, uh, you know, make better decisions with your lives, guys. Maybe you should do something else. Okay, guys, that's the secret of the Hells Angels. Thanks for watching.